From Fox 35 Mission Control, an out-of-this-world discovery. NASA says it just found a new planet. Shocking, right? Yeah, the James Webb Telescope spotted it just outside of our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again stunned the scientific community and the broader world with a discovery that has ignited both awe and a deep sense of unease. This time, the alert it issued wasn't merely about some distant galaxy or the birth of stars billions of light years away. Instead, it was something far more unsettling, an observation that challenges not only our understanding of the cosmos, but our place within it. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began as a routine deep field observation of a remote section of space. The telescope was focused on a patch of sky far beyond what any Earth-based instrument could discern, peering back billions of years into the early structure of the universe. This is the sort of work the telescope was built for, after all, to look deeper, to see more clearly, and to understand what came before. As the telescope scanned this ancient corner of the cosmos, it detected a structure, no, an arrangement, so improbable, so mathematically precise that it immediately raised flags among the observing scientists. This structure wasn't a galaxy, nor was it a cluster of stars or a black hole. It wasn't something that could be easily categorized as a natural phenomenon. It appeared as a geometric formation of light sources, equidistantly spaced across millions of light years, arranged in a lattice-like pattern that defied any natural astrophysical explanation. The configuration seemed almost artificial in design, so uniform that it challenged the very randomness of cosmic evolution. The sheer scale of the pattern, spanning multiple galaxies yet retaining perfect angular symmetry, suggested that either our understanding of cosmic formation is fundamentally flawed or, more unsettlingly, that some form of intelligence had a hand in its creation. The telescope's infrared instruments, capable of capturing light from the earliest epochs of the universe, revealed not just light signatures but emissions with patterns in the spectral data that resembled encoded signals. These emissions did not match any known natural cosmic process such as pulsars, quasars, or magnetars. There was no erratic behavior typical of natural sources. Instead, the signals were rhythmically spaced, repeating with mechanical precision over time intervals too exact to be ignored. The regularity hinted at intent. Immediately, teams of astronomers and physicists across the globe began coordinating to interpret this data. Was it a signature of advanced megastructures, perhaps Dyson swarms or intergalactic communication relays? Was it a form of energy manipulation on a scale previously unimagined? As more data poured in, the details only became stranger. The emissions included slight modulations in the infrared spectrum modulations that appeared to change based on the telescope's orientation and observational schedule. In other words, the source might be aware it was being watched. If the implications weren't already clear, this phenomenon seemed to suggest a non-natural origin, possibly one indicative of an advanced extraterrestrial intelligence, a civilization operating at a Type II or even Type III level on the Kardashev scale, capable of harnessing the energy of stars or entire galaxies. This wasn't just about discovering alien life, it was the suggestion of an intelligence capable of manipulating stellar structures across vast cosmic distances. This wasn't microbial life on some exoplanet. This was engineering on a galactic scale. What was particularly terrifying wasn't just the possibility of such intelligence, but the potential purpose behind such an act. Why arrange light and energy in such a way? Why emit a signal so precise, so deliberate, and so deeply buried in the early universe that only an instrument like the James Webb Telescope could detect it? Was it a beacon? A warning? A test? The very existence of such a message hidden in the deepest observable space raised alarming possibilities. Even more disturbing was the time frame. The light detected by the telescope originated from a time close to the beginning of the universe, mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, that meant if this arrangement was created intentionally, the civilization responsible for it had existed almost from the start of time as we know it. It implies a scale of longevity and technological advancement so vast that it would dwarf human civilization into irrelevance. The notion that something could exist for nearly the entire lifespan of the universe is existentially paralyzing. Humanity, only just crawling into interplanetary exploration, is confronting a force that may have mastered time, space, and energy on a scale so far beyond comprehension 
that our brightest minds cannot fathom its intent. If this pattern is indeed a construct, it is not just a display of power but of patience and precision. Building such a cosmic signature, one that can only be noticed when a civilization becomes technologically advanced enough to look that far and that deep, suggests a long-term strategy. Perhaps it's a filter, a test of whether a species has evolved to a point of astronomical insight. Perhaps it's a form of cosmic breadcrumb, a message to the next intelligence capable of detecting it. But if it is a test, what is the next step once the signal is found? The scientific community has long speculated about the Fermi paradox. Why, given the vastness of the universe, have we not yet encountered signs of alien life? Perhaps the Webb telescope has now stumbled upon the first clue to that mystery. Perhaps intelligent life is not common, perhaps it is incredibly rare. Or perhaps once it reaches a certain level of technological maturity, it is noticed. That is what chills the spine of many astronomers. The idea that the signal wasn't just sent out into the void, but sent specifically for others to find when they are ready. And now, we might be ready. The data streaming from the telescope suggests layers upon layers of complexity. The more closely scientists analyze the modulated emissions, the more it resembles some form of code, structured, dense, and hierarchical. There is a temptation, of course, to try and decode it, to interpret the message, but there's fear as well. What if the message contains knowledge humanity isn't prepared to handle? What if it contains coordinates, or worse, instructions? It's not just the message that's terrifying, it's the unknown implications of making contact, even indirect contact, with something that can manipulate the cosmos itself. Would such an intelligence be benevolent, indifferent, or hostile? Could we even comprehend its motivations? Our history is full of stories of first contact between civilizations with disparate technological levels, and those encounters have rarely gone well for the less advanced group. To assume that cosmic intelligence would be more ethical or enlightened is a comforting fiction, not a guarantee. There's also the psychological weight. Scientists and engineers are trained to be rational, skeptical, and empirical, yet the enormity of this finding is enough to shake even the most grounded minds. They are not dealing with theoretical possibilities anymore. They are observing real phenomena, recorded, confirmed, verified. For many, it's a paradigm shift. For others, it's an existential crisis. Adding to the anxiety is the knowledge that this discovery cannot be unmade. The telescope has already observed it. The data is already distributed across global networks of observatories and research centers. The genie is out of the bottle, and there is no turning back. Future observations are planned. More data will be collected, and with every new pixel of infrared light, the image becomes clearer and more disturbing. One particular segment of the signal seems to be evolving. The emission pattern is changing subtly over time, suggesting that it is dynamic, not static. This points away from the idea of a passive relic from a bygone civilization, and more toward the notion of an ongoing activity. The source may still be active, still monitoring, still transmitting. That would mean the intelligence responsible isn't just ancient but possibly immortal, continuously operating across the timeline of the universe. There's a fear in the astrophysical community that this may not be the only signal, that other such constructs exist, perhaps even closer to Earth. Perhaps they're just waiting to be uncovered, hidden in the cosmic microwave background, encoded in the movements of galaxies, or buried in gravitational wave patterns. The discovery made by Webb might be the tip of the iceberg, the first faint note in a much larger symphony. Now, every new observation takes on a new urgency. Every signal is scrutinized. Every anomaly is viewed through the lens of intentionality. This is not science fiction anymore. This is empirical observation intersecting with the deepest fears and hopes of human civilization. We are no longer just observers of the universe. We might now be participants in a dialogue we never even realized had begun. And if this is a dialogue, then one haunting question remains. Are we supposed to respond? That question lingers at the heart of every laboratory, every control room, every sleepless researcher poring over the raw data. To respond might mean exposing ourselves to something beyond comprehension, but to stay silent might also have consequences. Perhaps the signal is a countdown. Perhaps it is a waiting game and the clock started the moment we detected it. If you liked this video, 
please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on what James Webb just found that's terrifying? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.